No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. You said you could help. Yes. But to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. I do remember reading about you. I am ever humbled to be in your presence. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Something dear to your heart. Elder Reva gave me this. The pendant gleamed with hopeful memories. I don't know if I should. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting it. Okay. You're right. A crack and a spark and the pendant was gone in the flames. I said, go away. I need help. And? What do you expect me to do about it? Go away. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look, buy help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. Oh. But you can still help me. I have to find out why a dragon attacked my village. Well, don't come complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head. What memory are you prepared to consign to the flames? Getting lost in my favorite book. No, you don't. Don't what? Don't remember. Never mind, never mind. Look, this bit can go on forever. The offering has been made. Um, thank you, I guess. Two offerings down. One to go, and they'll help me follow the dragon under the lake. Ooh, what next? 
I don't know. Do you think they'd take another memory? The last offering must keep our fire burning. A gesture of hope. Of friendship. But it cannot be given by you. And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> what about love? You have something to give? Sure. I got love. You would give yourself to help your friend? Of course. Lum, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. This is important to human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Lump want to give you something too. don't know what to say. Thank you, Lump. Lump thanks you too. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> I'll miss you, silly little Lump. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye for us. Hello for you and Dragon. As Little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Robin felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She could now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I'll never forget what you did. I should... Go to the lake. Follow the dragon. I guess. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. Where once there was light, was now darkness. Where there was noise, only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake looked murky. But she had to brave its depths.
It's 5 a.m. Grand died in the night. 